today on our 2000 Buick Regal. We'll be installing the Kurt Vehicle Wiring Harness with 4 flat trailer connector. Part number C58044. We can show you how you can close your deck lid on the wires as long as you make sure to stay away from the deck lid latch. The molding around the deck lid is soft enough that it will not hurt the wiring when the deck lid's closed. When you're done using it, you can simply open the trunk, fold up your wiring harness, store it in the spare tire well where it's out of the way. Now to begin our installation, we'll go ahead and open the trunk. We're here on the driver's side, we'll need to remove the two cargo net hooks. Once we've removed those, we can go ahead and begin peeling back the carpeting, exposing the tail light wiring harness. Now we'll need to go ahead and remove the tape surrounding the three wires that lead to the tail light. We'll use a utility knife to cut back the tape, being very careful not to cut the wires. Once we have the three wires exposed, we can use a test light to test the wires, telling us which wires we'll need to tap. Now here on the driver's side, We'll tap the brown wire as our tail light lead and the green wire as our left turn brake signal. Now that we've identified the wires, we'll take our yellow wire from our four pole wire harness and using the quick lock connectors, we'll slide the connector over the green wire on our factory harness, slide our yellow wire from our four pole harness in, and using a pair of pliers, we'll crimp the connector down. We can then lock the plastic cover over and repeat this procedure, connecting our brown lead from our four pole connector to the brown wire on our factory harness. Now that we have those two connections made, we'll go ahead and tape them up with some electrical tape. Now here, we'll take our white wire, strip back the insulation, attach a ring terminal, and using a self-tapping screw, we'll find a good body ground and ground the wire. With that done, we'll begin routing our green wire. We'll take our four pole harness, route it underneath the carpet into the spare tire well. Now here on the passenger side, after removing the cargo net hooks and peeling back the carpet, we'll then take our green wire and route it over to the passenger side. We'll again, remove the electrical tape, find the correct wire for our right turn signal brake light feed, and using the quick lock, attach our green wire from our four pole harness to the green wire on the factory harness. We'll go ahead and tape it back up and reinstall our carpet. We'll work our way over to the driver's side, reinstalling the carpet, remembering to put back the cargo net hooks. With our carpet back in, our wiring is completed. Now we'll go ahead and show you how it works. Using a test light, we'll connect one end to the ground wire here on our four pole, and the other end will probe the remaining three wires making sure that we get the correct signals out of each. And that completes our installation of the Kurt Vehicle Wiring Harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number C58044 on our 2000 Buick Regal.